morning. It is early, but I wanted to get this kind of video out for you guys. I know I did upload a everyday makeup back a few months ago, a few videos ago technically, but I wanted to update that with like a quicker one. Now that I'm not in school right now, it's break. I do still like to wear makeup on a daily basis, so I'm not gonna do a whole bunch. Kind of like, I like to say pick a feature that you like to emphasize the most, which mine would be skin and my brows. I do tint my brows, I tinted them yesterday, which the tint turned out so pretty. So just to start, I'm gonna use these little clippies. Get them on Amazon, I love these, they don't leave a crease in your hair. I did blow dry my hair and do a blowout last night with the rollers and everything like I normally do. I filmed that in my Sunday routine, so if you haven't seen that, I'll leave that link up here in like the parts where you can kind of like click, click it and link, or and down in the description so you guys can watch it. So basically to start, I'm going to start with my face. I'm going to part my skin with actually not primer first. I forgot to go in with eye cream with my skincare. So my eye cream I'm going to take is from Naturium. It's the multi-peptide eye cream. And I'm going to do a little bit of that underneath my eyes. This really helps with the concealer for not creasing as well as just going on smoother. <sighs> I like to take it up and over on my eyes as well. So once you have that on, now you can go in and prime. I did put my um, sunscreen, my moisturizer on all of my serums on in the back of my bottle. Like 10 minutes before I let it sink in. So take a couple pumps of this primer and push it into your skin. So light makeup days, heavy makeup days, all that, I always go in with this primer. This is just my favorite primer. Look through the brows, I like to kind of stick my brow hairs up with it. Okay. My brows have been coming in super nice too, which is nice. So for my base, I do take two different things. I'm going to take the Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter and my Fenty Ease Drops. And I like to put it on the back of my hand. Just some... Oh, both and mix them together. I just slap it all over my skin. And then I'm going to just take a big foundation brush, um, my normal one, my elf one. And blend everything in. Alright, now that you got that blended in, I go in the concealer. When I have everything out on like my desk area when I'm getting ready in the morning, I just leave it on my vanity so it's easy to go. So, my normal, my health long term concealer. So, anywhere you like, you have redness or discoloration, just go in and pop that there. Mm -hmm. Same brush, just go in and use the smaller side, use the big side. I'm also going to take this concealer over my eyelids. I normally don't do this, but I'm not going to go in with a whole lot of eyeshadow today. So I don't really need an eye primer. Alright, and then before you set your skin, just take your beauty sponge. I'm taking just my damp beauty blender and making sure everything's nice and blended and pressed into the skin. So one thing that I love to invest in, especially for everyday makeup, is a good contour palette. 
it, there's a Kat Von D, there's the Anastasia, there's Bunch Tarte has their mini little contour palette. I still have my old Park Avenue Princess palette I'm still trying to go through, so that's what I'm going to use today. They have this on Amazon, but it's outrageously priced, so don't go buy that. Just use whatever you have, but I'm going to take the two highlight shades in here and set underneath my eyes with that, those shades. Make sure you blend out any creases you have. You don't want to set any creases. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to take another discontinued product, but they do have the pressed compact version of this, but it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder. I'm going to take that. I like to kind of dust it into my hand. It gives me the right amount of product, so that way I'm not going in with too much product either. And then I take it on that little viral sponge you can get on Amazon and set the rest of my face. I mainly just set my T-zone. Right. Now that your face is set, go back in with that contour palette and do your face, basically. So I am gonna take the shade in this palette called princess cut is this warmer kind of bronzy shade and contour and bronze my face normally i go in with like the two contours that i use the um hourglass and my park avenue princess bronzer but this i'm just getting done in one palette i'm taking it on this angled morphe brush i got this in a set years ago so it doesn't have any numbers on it or anything like that but it's just an angled powder brush Use that to warm up all over your skin. you've done that you can go in with your blush i am just taking my normal everyday blush which is mac peaches i have it in this big old palette but it's this shade right here and pop that onto your cheeks it gives just a nice little peachy glow i do like to take it also over the bridge of my nose just to kind of give like that sunburnt look. It's cute during the winter time right now, especially because it's like that I'm cold look. I know that was super in last year. So I'm gonna go back in with that princess cut shade on a fluffy brush and buff that through my crease of my eye. and bring it all the way into my nose contour. Okay. And then you can also take the halo and the enhanced shade from this palette, so those two lighter shades. I take on that same fluffy brush and I just pop it onto my lid just to kind of brighten everything up with that same brush. Make sure everything's nice and blended that way. And go back in with a little bit of princess cut. So I still like to get ready every day, even though I'm not going anywhere right now because I'm on um, break. Uh, taking that same princess cut on a smaller brush and popping that on my lower lash line. Oh, 
So I'm gonna take a flat definer brush, one that kind of looks like so, and taking the darkest shade out of this palette. It's the shade in brown. I'm just going to buff that into my lash line just to give some definition. I'm keeping it on the outer half of the lash line. And the eyes are done. Besides highlighter. I'm gonna go in and now highlight my face and my eyes with my Essence Nude Highlighter. I love this for natural makeup days. It's just not too bold that way. I normally take like my Laura Mercier highlighter. That one's super nice for more kind of makeup y days. This just gives like that nice glow. So I just put it where I still have that glow from like the halo filter. I just want to emphasize that glow. Mm -mm -mm. And then I'm gonna grab a smaller little domed brush and pop that into the inner corner. And then before I finish the rest of my eyes, I am going to go in and kind of fill in the sparse areas of my brows. Like I said, I did tint my brows yesterday, so they're not too bad. But I have some bald patches where the hair just doesn't grow. So I've got to fill that in and make it look more like a natural escapade. So I'm taking my e.l.f. brow pencil in neutral brown and I'm going to start by underlining and then filling in the sparse areas of my brow. I'm also constantly blending at the same time just to make sure the product gets blended. Okay, so I'm not done yet with my brows. I go in with a couple more things. My brow brows are my main thing, especially for no makeup makeup days. I want my brows to really frame my eyes. And I do wear glasses, so that really helps with, you know, bringing the attention to my eye area. So I'm gonna take my brow flick and draw in some hair strokes where I'm bald. All right, so that's that. And then the last thing I do before setting them and everything is my Gimme Brow from Benefit. This adds some more fibers and make your brow hair look just a little bit thicker. So I typically just do my everyday brow routine. <laughs> just not as dark. And then go through and set your brows with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter or whatever brow setter you have. And this one's my favorite. Open it. Ugh, I'm still getting over my cold. So this kind of helps me feel a little bit better and more put together. Especially for, you know, have, if you do have to go anywhere, run errands. I walk my dog with makeup on. This I sometimes wear to the gym if I'm not if like mm, not feeling good and I just want to pick myself up I guess another thing I like to do is take this highbrow dual pen from Benefit I'll take the gold shide shide gold side and kind of go underneath and carve out the bottom of my brow because my normal days I'll go in with concealer and carve out my brows but this is just a nice little touch on a no makeup makeup day 
I know makeup makeup still has 18 billion layers. <laughs> so pop that underneath there. And then now I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes and apply mascara. And I like to go in with a lash primer, almost like a push-up bra for your lashes on a no lashes day. Cause you know me, I'm always wearing falsies. I will still sometimes pop on a falsie if I have the time. This is taking me a little bit longer today because I am talking you guys through every single step that I do. Going into more detail with each step. So for the lash combo that I like to use, I always use my Lash Paradise Mascara, especially before I go in with falsies. But I like to go in with their primer on no falsies days beforehand. Like I said, it's a push-up bra for your lashes. So go in and pop that on your lashes. Have a couple coats of mascara on your lashes. Let that dry. Do what you need to do. You know, I'm gonna assess what else I need on my face. I look at my skin and I need just a little bit more blush. And then I'm going to set my skin. I do like to take a two step set method. I take my Fix Plus first. This helps like all the powders kind of melt into the base. And then my Morphe. I always use my Morphe Continuous Set this. And then I like to go in with lower lash mascara. I do take my MAC Extend to Play Giga Black Lash. This just has the tiniest little wand for your lower lashes. I take a nude liner every day, no matter what kind of makeup I'm doing, dramatic, natural, take a nude liner. My eyes just kind of get a little bit red. Pop that on your waterline. And then I like to bring my freckles back. I have one, I have the little Marilyn Monroe little freckle here that I like to bring back. Makes my makeup look more natural again. Bring that back. And then I take my beauty blender and kind of pounce it in. Okay, so for the last thing that you need to do is lips, for sure. I never leave without a lip color on. My little bag of my favorite lippies. So I'm gonna take my everyday lip color out of here which if you know me it's mac i always take my mac oak lip pencil and line and fill in my lips Can I just leave it like this sometimes? But most of the time, I'm going to put a lip oil over top of it. I have been in love with the Jaclyn Hill lip oils. These are, they're so pretty, but my main shade that I wear all the time is in Honey Drop. I wear this, I like to wear this when I'm doing more dramatic looks, when I wear my 
like my cork like pencil and blend that in but even on natural lip days just pop that over for a nice hydrated a gloss all right guys so that is the finished look i love this everyday natural kind of makeup it's perfect for just quick out the door makeup especially if you're going to be like being seen by people basically i wear this to class a lot of times if i'm not wanting to do my everyday you know eyeshadow if i don't have time if i go up late this this look takes me like 15 minutes tops because i was talking through it today it did take me a little bit longer to do but i do hope you guys enjoyed this video um stay tuned to the rest of my holiday content coming up and i hope you guys have happy holidays love you guys bye